What's up guys? So today I want to show you how I installed a lab well pump. Um, this is the one I got. I got a Tsunami. It's an Atwood pump. Pretty good pump, but I'd say it's probably the best bang for your buck. I've been looking online for a lot of different pumps and this one came out on top. So really simple. I'll show you guys all, all the steps I did and uh, check it out. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is test fit. Always test fit everything, doesn't matter what you're installing. Always make sure it fits, make sure it works, kinda how you want it. Put the pump in, angle it where you want it to, kinda play around with it depending on your boat. This elbow piece that I'm putting on, it doesn't really matter to put silicone on there because it's got a rubber gasket on the inside like a hose. So once you get it a little bit tight, then start kinda positioning it in the way your hose is gonna be towards your live well. Totally up to you, totally however you want to install it, whatever position you want it, the whole thing is, it's customized to however you want it. So pull it back out and uh, you're ready to silicone the whole thing. I use 100% silicone. You can use uh, preferably 100% silicone. I wouldn't recommend anything else. It's kind of what I used to use for showers and stuff like that. So it's definitely something to keep the water out. Just give it a nice little bead around the edge. And then what I do is I like to put a tiny little bead on the uh, on the thread itself. Because that's pretty much the area that's going to be the hole. So you don't want any water seeping in through there either. Now when you're putting it back, make sure you don't touch the silicone anywhere. Um, also the surface you got. I had a few things in there, so chow, chow, clean it up a little real quick. Um, get all that debris out of there. And uh, in the hole she goes. Just kind of squeeze her in there. Push it down on the silicone. Make sure you see that little silicone that just popped up. Yeah, you kind of want it to squeeze out on the edges there. That's what it's going to look like on the outside. So you're just going to have to put on the other piece. Put some silicone on the cap or the the nut, I guess you can call it and put a nice little bead on there as well because you really want it to gush out you want it to get as much coverage as possible because you don't want any water getting in anywhere here now it's really important to get yourself a nice clean surface because what i realized doing this is that goo gone is absolute crap um, I don't like it, so it didn't really take off as much of the um, residue that was from the previous silicone on there. So I would highly recommend using like acetone. And then once you're done that, do a little uh, glass cleaner on there. And that uh, degreases uh, the area, gives you a nice clean surface. And just spinny, spinny, spin, spin the, uh, spin the nut on the thread and get it nice and tight. Once you got it pretty much tied by hand, uh, try to get it as tight as possible with your hands um, before you use any kind of tools for it. But I always use channel locks for something like this. Now you do not want to over tighten. Kind of feel it as you turn it. Do not over tighten because it's plastic. You can easily, you can easily break the threads and you don't want to do that. So just give it a nice tighten. Um, as long as all the silicone squeezes out, wipe it off. Make sure you got a nice clean surface there. Fast hands are going to do this zippity zip zip zip. And there it is. Now we're going to just cut it off. I'm using uh, an osculating tool. So you can use a little hacksaw and or a little handsaw. You can use, you could probably even use a razor knife on there. It cuts super easy. Clean off all the debris. Get rid of all the crap around there. Um, you don't want any of that stuff going into your actual pump. So there it is y'all that's how you install a live well super easy i uh, hope it made this video under five minutes but other than that it only took about 15 so there you go